Hi Gemini, this welcome back. This is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of June 2022. Mercury will have gone retrograde, oh sorry, direct on the 2nd and we've had the full moon so you might just feel the tail end of Mercury until the 12th, 14th uh, of this month so be careful of electrical mechanical things and the moon's energy i'm using the astrological reading cards and i'm using the house um, as the main card that i go into because i've already gone into the zodiac sign and you're the first house so you're the baby of the zodiac ah cutie pie <laughs> the house cards describe the area of your life the matter will be expressed in for instance your finances or your health in the case of the first house this is the area of your life that is literally you your life's force and what you radiate as you walk into a room it is the way people see you or the initial impression you can give when you first meet somebody new. You could say it is who the mirror shows you to be. So look in the mirror. If you feel good and you smile and you're positive, then people will see that. If you feel dull, then people will see the dull you. So be careful. Be happy. Don't worry. If you have chosen a planet card to go with this then it will be describing the part of you personally well i'm just getting to know these cards because there's a very new deck but i just wanted to share this with you okay and anybody that's cross watching you but this is the planet card aries or the zodiac card rather it will describe, be dis, describing in the part of your personality that engaged in the matter. If you have chosen a zodiac sign, it is describing the universal energy that is currently around you and at your disposal. Both of these are having a big impact on your personality for the area of life. This card is describing your personal self. This are, these are influencing how you handle yourself in this situation or how you respond or react. So you can respond spontaneously or very fiery um, or coming up for yourself, defending yourself or your ideas, but also very creative because you also stand for creativity and being strategic and being very passionate with people or with things, ideas. Okay, if you could imagine yourself like a house for a moment with different rooms being different parts of your personality, then the part of you described by this card is like a door of a house or the front garden. The look on your face may be obvious from time to time and it is likely that you are making an impression on others. So you might want to be careful what you show them, the energy field you naturally have around you uh, or at all times is also described by this card. Some would call it your electromagnetic field or your aura. If you are starting something, such a, as a new project or a relationship, you will find that the zodiac sign and the planet cards are important to this new beginning. So new passion, new passion could be coming in for you, Aries, as you are exub also exuberating or shining that energy because you are fiery, passion, love, right? know your boundaries if you're starting a new passionate affair do you want it for a long time do you want a permanent relationship then set your boundaries and know other people's boundaries now the card that was underneath the deck is the two of quills the two of swords 
So open your heart, open your mind, open your eyes, open your solar plex and let that passion come out and in. Okay, beautiful. Just have to change the, there you are, you can see the cards. So that is the card underneath. Um, also the two of swords means um, don't just look around you, uh, in front of you, but look around you there's more on offer okay don't take the first and the best because the first can not be the best okay two means you could be balancing or partnering up okay so that's what you the energy that you come in with you've also got the two of paws and that's the two of pentacles balancing money or partnering up so you've got a double number here so watch out for that angelic number the angels have your back trying to balance between the home front and the work front or the heart and the mind or your money if you're spending too much money tighten up those purse strings you've also got the five of candles so you could be um, having disputes and um, that's typically you because you do speak your mind and um, well I've got a sister that's an Aries and she's um, she can argue and she can defend herself very well uh, against um, the mind of a Gemini or an air sign. Yeah, they they are very well read and like Gemini, they, uh, they like to, um, they're very eager to gain knowledge. So they will listen to an Aries, okay? They're eager to learn. Also, you could be dealing with competition. Wow. Now, let me see. Yes, you could be dealing, having competition with a Gemini or an air sign because you've got the Ace of uh, Swords here. So, this is, um, these dis, uh, disputes or arguments are short-lived, so don't worry about it. It's not the Five of Swords, okay? But you could be, you will be beating the competition. So, yes, because you've got the winning ticket here. Okay, so you've also got the Empress. The Empress is Libra, represents Libra. It also is uh, Mother Earth. So you could be finding out you're pregnant or it's a good time to get pregnant because time is fertile. You could be hearing of a project. Um, this could be of a birth of a baby or a birth of a new investment or a project. So it's right up your street, all these new beginnings. Because you've also got the Ace of Candles. And that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be meeting or dealing with one of them as well. This could be a new job. This could be going on to the next level, uh, a new position, promotion, or a new wage rise. Some, you're going for something and your action is going to pay off big time. The Lovers, Gemini. Gemini is definitely in your reading. Wow. Twice. Prominently Gemini. Could be Libra again twice or Aquarius so if you are in a judicial situation you will win you will get what you deserve and so will the other but you could be partnering up okay that's the the lovers is Gemini but it is number six you're more than halfway with something five six you're going up in the world definitely showing in the cards you could be partnering up with a soulmate or you could um, meet a soulmate, doesn't have to be a friend for life, a partner, living, loving partner, uh, to live together. It can be a best friend for life, somebody that you feel uh, the same with, um, you think alike, you like the same things, you feel safe with that person. Also, um, this, this Ace of Quills, underneath the lovers could be uh, official documentation a wedding uh, certificate uh, so you could be getting married to your soulmate definitely beautiful you could be starting a new course or you could be doing a workshop um, definitely a news um, a new beginning in something I love it I love it it's nice 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 you've got the four of quills the Four of Quills is the Four of Swords taking time out with a soulmate. This could be your honeymoon. It could be
could be signing documents for a new house but taking time out before you sign that's really good advice especially now because we still have the tail end of mercury retrograde so take your time but you could be taking a midweek or a weekend away you could be meditating contemplating and evaluating good on you we've also got the eight of pools the eight of pools is the eight of pentacles so the eight of pentacles means that you've definitely got recognition especially from an employer clients so that could be beating the competition your your business is doing better than the competition recognition so you could be getting more clients wage rise promotion awesome you could be leaving a legacy behind signing a legacy of contract could be prenuptials as well wow that's great so long you open up and don't close yourself off okay because you, you've got the two of swords so open up now the last card i've got for you is from the energy deck and the energy around you is victory ah, lovely 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 so you've got 28 that becomes a 10 so that's a one you've got one here one here so watch out for one 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 that's an angelic number okay beautiful three four five six well it's you're going up in the world it's showing in different ways that you will have victory victory is yours wow i hope you have enjoyed the this reading i'm just going to put the cards back so you can see them once more i hope you've enjoyed this reading have a wonderful week and stay safe and be blessed and be grateful for what you have and not for what you don't have if you haven't subscribed yet why not it is free and you only missing the perks and i do go live on wednesday morning and wednesday evening for now because due to personal situation i can't make it at the weekend i'm sorry take care stay safe and know that i love you bye bye